Good morning and welcome to Bali, to Gili, Gilia exactly. Uh, this seems like a good spot to do this video. So I used to do these videos all the time and I haven't done it in a while, but I've been traveling continuously for almost nine years now. And I've managed to fund that from working online in various different ways. It's always been kind of passive and I use that word loosely because I don't think there's anything that is truly passive that you can just work on it once and never have to work on it again. But everything I do, I aim for it to be pretty much passive where I work on it a load at the beginning and then don't have to work on it much after and the money keeps coming in. For example, now I can be on the beach enjoying a coconut and I'll still have a couple hundred dollars coming in today whether or not I work or do any work whatsoever. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all of the various ways that I managed to do that, my different income streams, and how I'm able to generate an income online without really doing any work every day and still travel wherever I want. So, let's get into it. Okay, I am gonna put my sunglasses on because I'm squinting a fair bit. <laughs> so the first one and the most obvious is YouTube AdSense, my YouTube income from the videos I put up both on this channel and what you might not have known is I also have two other channels that are monetized. Now, a lot of you will know this already, but if you upload videos to YouTube, then you'll get paid in advertising revenue from the adverts that pop up next to this video. It will vary month to month. If you've got videos that are doing particularly well, then obviously your income will be more. And if you haven't uploaded in a while, like I haven't uploaded loads on this channel in the last six months, then the income will start to go down. The nice thing is though, that even when I had big breaks from YouTube where I didn't post anything for a year, the passive or the recurring revenue still kept coming in. Sure, it went down, but sometimes still you'd have random spikes where a video gets pushed back into the algorithm and it'll go up again. Like I think last year, maybe two years ago, it was down to like $500 a month, which isn't amazing. And then a random month just pushed it up to like one, one and a half thousand because one video got suggested. So that's always the nice thing about having a YouTube channel. Now, I think what you'll, some of you may know my other YouTube channel. There's one called Creative Money that's also monetized. And I also have a faceless AI channel, which I haven't publicized yet, but that's also monetized. So I've got three YouTube channels that are bringing in recurring revenue. I actually made notes. What is the next one? So the next one is something I've only been recently doing in the last few months, and that is Amazon Influencer videos. Now this is something I'm posting about on my Twitter and threads. Uh, if you wanna check it out, then I'm just sharing my journey there. But the basic way it works is within Amazon, on the actual Amazon website, if you review a product and upload the product video of that product, that's a product quite a few times, if you, <laughs> You can make product review videos, basically. So let's say, let's take this straw, for example. I would make a quick video of this straw, reviewing it, and then upload that to Amazon. If people then are decided whether or not to buy this metal straw, they can watch that video, and then I'll get a commission if they decide to buy it after watching my video. It's really new, I'm gonna be posting about it in the future, but I only started three months ago. I haven't generated any traffic towards it. It all comes from Amazon itself, and I'm already getting around two grand a month from that, from only starting three months ago. So this is something I think is really powerful. It's really pretty new, and I'll be posting about it in the future. And more importantly than that, it's still pretty passive. Once the video's up there, that's it. I don't have to do anything more with that video, and it might still continue giving me commissions for the next two to three years. So like I said, the link to what I'm doing with that will be down in the description below, and you can follow my journey with that on Twitter or on threads. I'm in Gilly, by the way. This is Gilly Air. Some of you might recognize it. There's no cars or bikes here. It's just horse and car, cycling or walking, which is great. The next one is kind of topical. It's YouTube sponsorships. And I say it's topical because we're about to get into a sponsorship by NordVPN. NordVPN is great because it can enable you to mask your location no matter where you are in the world and access things as if you were in another country. Now let's say for example you want to have some downtime and watch Netflix but you go onto Netflix in the country you're in and it doesn't have the shows you want. Back in let's say 
the show you're watching back on the UK version of Netflix, where you can use NordVPN to change your location back to the UK and continue watching that show. It's also great if you want to be able to change your location when you're looking at booking flights or hotels, you can do that within NordVPN. So if you're interested, go click the link in the description below. We have this offer available for you right now. Go and check it out. So yeah, sponsorships, that's another clear way to make money from YouTube and from your social media. Uh, it's not very passive because obviously each time there is a sponsorship you have to do the work. One of the nice things about it though is they usually include an affiliate link and you can get recurring passive commissions if someone then signs up to that service using your affiliate link. Which brings me to the next one, affiliates. This is a great way to eat a coconut. Do a video and get a coconut. So affiliates, I think, are a win-win for everyone. The way it basically works is if I'm gonna recommend you a product or service that I personally use, let's say, for example, I book hotels through booking.com or use Epidemic Sound for um, music for my videos, then someone goes and signs up to it after my recommendation and clicks on my link, then I'll get a commission for that purchase. I think it's a win-win because I've only recommend something that I personally use and believe in anyway and then often the person that clicks and signs up gets a discount. So they're getting a discount and I'm getting a kickback from recommending it. Now the great thing about some affiliates is they actually they recur. So if it's a recurring program that you're signing up to where it's a monthly payment then I'll also get that commission monthly payment every single month. The traffic through that is usually generated through either my YouTube channels or my blogs, which I'm gonna tell you about next. Now, if you're just starting out and if you're a beginner, don't worry about this. This is all stuff I've built up over time. I wouldn't expect anyone to start straight away and have YouTube, Amazon, blogs, three YouTube channels, whatever. Um, they, they take time to build up, but any of these anyone can do, so it'd probably be better to focus on one or two and then branch out into having more of these things. Something I haven't been hugely vocal about on this channel before is how I also have a blog. I actually have three blogs, <laughs> again. So I, I have a travel blog that I built up with another friend of mine called Richard. The blog is not called Richard, the blog is called Travel Continuously. My friend is called Richard. Uh, Travelcontinuously.com and that's a travel blog geared towards digital nomads but based on places I've been before. And that generates us a monthly income right now, both from display ads, which is similar to AdSense, and also, again, affiliates. Now, I've had that blog for a long time, but only really took it seriously in the past year. And we went from getting around one to 2,000 page views a month up to around about 50,000 page views per month, which actually is pretty good for a travel blog within one year. And that's now generating recurring revenue for both of us, which we then split equally. That's something I'm gonna grow in the future and it's just like yeah I, I put up another video recently about building a blog so if you're interested in that go and check it out because I do think it's really really powerful because of that I also have another blog that I built using AI it's nowhere near as good but it does also produce revenue even though a lot of the articles are completely AI created and maybe that's something I'll post about in the future I then also used AI to create three more, um, which basically took a day each to build the whole website, create the 50 articles, upload it and everything, um, but they're not making money yet, so I'll report back on that later. The next one I've spoken about before is stock footage, where you license old clips that I've filmed. Basically, if you've got any footage that you've just got lying around on old hard drives, like drone footage or shots of a beach or whatever, uh, you can license that out for people to use in their own programs and videos, etc. I use Blackbox, and even though I haven't uploaded anything new, in the last year that still gets me between two and four hundred dollars a month sometimes I'll just get a random email saying one of your clips just sold for two hundred dollars which is obviously amazing I've done no work towards it other than the initial filming and then you I, I even have someone else to upload and do all the metadata for a percentage of this final sale so I don't pay anyone up front and then money just comes in randomly so out of all of them that probably is the most passive thing I've got going on right now I haven't done anything on it really in a year at least and it still gets me money every month. So really, like, I've got another video on that as well. I'll link it, go check it out if you're interested in how all of that works. 
And then these last few I'm going to share are things I've done over the past nine years that I'm not actively doing right now, but they've still enabled me to travel and make money online. And some of them still do, some still don't. Uh, one is cryptocurrency. <laughs> I remember um, I posted a video a couple years ago about how it's going to be like the revolution and how blah blah blah, like everyone else um, does every few years, every cycle. And I did make a fair bit of money from it at the time, and that enabled me to travel without doing all the social media stuff at the time. But then, obviously, for the last couple years, it's all been downhill since then, and it's not really making me any money anymore. In fact, whenever I do trade recently, then I'm losing money, um, like a lot of other people. But that is something that did make me money before, and it had, did enable me to do some cool things. So it's always an option, it's just the timing of it is never easy. And uh, the next one is I also have all my videos on YouTube uploaded to other video platforms. I mentioned it in previous videos, but um, there's one called Hideout or like Facebook or I'm sure you've heard of Facebook, but Facebook also has a creator fund, TikTok has a creator fund. Um, none of them are a lot, but they all add up. Uh, and it's just other platforms where you can also upload your videos to. It'll give you a little bit of ad revenue. I also have a course on Udemy and Skillshare on building up a YouTube channel. That gives me not a great monthly income, but like a bit here and there, one to $200 just comes in passive. Um, which is, is very nice. Again, it's a course I did two or three years ago and uploaded to there, something I might look at doing more in the future, but it just comes in regardless. Even though, I, I say, that did take me a lot of work up front. I front-loaded the work, filmed 50-odd videos, uploaded them, and then now that still repeats. Repeats, the income recurs for the next couple years since then. And lastly, something I've done uh, only a couple times over the last few years is sold trips to places I'm going if other people want to come along and travel with me. Uh, it's, it's something quite a lot of travel content creators do these days. Create a trip, create an itinerary, and then you can go and travel with them if you want to go to that place. And obviously all of the admin, hard work, all of that is taken away because you can just pay to come on the trip. and let's say me or whoever else will do all the hard work and organization, etc. So yeah, I've done that a couple of times, something I might do in the future. I've got no plans for a trip right now, but if you are interested in doing one, then let me know where in the comments. Maybe we can figure that out for next year or the year after. I think I'd like to do another trekking one, maybe Everest Base Camp or something, because I haven't done that yet. And that is about it. I was scratching my brain, thinking like, what are all the ways I've made money? and that is it. All of those enabled me to travel to over uh, 100 countries and still the money comes in whether you do work or not, which is very nice. If I had to choose out of all of those, if you're going to choose which one you should start starting out, if you're already a content creator or if you're not and you're just looking at a way of making money online, then I would personally choose right now the Amazon product reviews, the Amazon influencer program. For me, after doing this for almost nine years, it's the most powerful thing I've seen online and it's the fastest I've ever got to making over a grand a month. Like, I only started it three months ago and already it's generating that which may well continue for the next few years. So again, if you're interested, you can follow my journey with that below and I'll basically share everything that I do wrong and everything that I do right to help you guys when you're starting out. That is about it. Hope you enjoyed it. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but I thought since I hadn't, it would be good to have a quick catch up with all of that. Thank you again for watching. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring the sponsored section of the video, and I'll see you in the next one.